deep in the caves of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, there's an unexpected cold-blooded predator. Deadly five-foot-long Mexican night snakes that normally hide in trees or undergrowth are lying in wait. Sometimes for days to ambush bats. Large eyes and infrared sensors on their heads help them home in on the warm-blooded mammals. And with so many bodies hurtling through the narrow tunnels, even some of the best pilots in the natural world make mistakes. A successful strike doesn't guarantee a meal. And bats do what they can to fight back. Another one is snatched, but its fangs are needle sharp and it manages to hook one deep into the snake's head. The night snake has only two options, try and shake off the prey and lose a hard won meal or endure the pain of the bite. Finally, the bat loses the battle. The snake won't need to eat for over a week. This cave has even darker secrets lurking below. A hidden world that has been undisturbed for thousands of years. Ancient minds considered underground pools to be an entrance to their underworld, where their gods live, lightless, but not lifeless. In the depths of this cave, life has evolved in isolation. Over millennia, fish and shrimp that once swam in open rivers have been cut off from the outside world as water eroded the rocks and the rivers ran underground. In this pitch black zone, there's no need for eyes, so the creatures here no longer have them. Instead, they navigate with heightened senses of taste and touch. Since nothing can see them, there's no need for any color, so they glow a ghostly white. They live among pottery left by the ancient Mayans. And they owe their existence to the bats in the caves above. Seeds and nutrients from bat waste provide enough food to fuel this dark world. Hiding underground offers protection, but for some of Mexico's other creatures, it's only a temporary solution. Six hundred miles away on the Gulf of Mexico, a newborn struggles to see the light for the first time. Kemp's Ridley turtles, just two inches long, wait under the sand until all their brothers and sisters have hatched. They're pre-programmed to get to the sea as quickly as possible, with good reason. The mass turtle egg laying event eight weeks ago means tens of thousands of babies are all heading down to the beach in succession. It's a big task for a tiny turtle. Ghost crabs are normally nocturnal but when the turtles are around, they make an exception. It should be an easy meal. The competition is fierce. The bigger your claws, the better your chances. and the crab with the biggest claws usually wins.
the turtles that make it to the safety of the surf are on their own. These hatchlings may have escaped death on land, but now they face a whole new world of danger in an ocean full of deadly predators. In the Gulf of Mexico, a massive marine monster is on the hunt. The whale shark is the world's largest fish, weighing up to 40 tons. Despite the whale shark's great size, scientists still don't know a lot about it. It's one of the ocean's most mysterious inhabitants. Extremely elusive, they've been difficult to study. What is known is that they grow very slowly, but once fully grown, can reach the size of a bus. They have to wait 30 years before they can mate, and often live to over 100. They're normally solitary, roaming deep oceans in search of food. But every year, an extraordinary event takes place here. Hundreds of whale sharks shoal in just one small area. Another deep water plankton feeder, the giant manta ray, also <laughs> flocks to the party. This is the planet's largest congregation of the ocean's biggest fish. And there are a billion reasons why they all come here. The sheltered waters of the Gulf of Mexico are breeding grounds for many species of fish. They lay billions of tiny eggs in open water. At the same time, the coral are breeding, jettisoning millions of spores to join the plankton from deeper waters. Winds and ocean currents drive them together into a dense, nutrient-rich hotspot. Attracted by the abundance of food, whale sharks travel thousands of miles to gorge to their heart's content. <laughs> 